Hey guys, and welcome to Learn Chinese Now. Now, because someone asked, we're going to talk about the character Bei today. Okay, so from a, apart from meaning quilt, Bei zi, when it's combined with zi, uh, Bei is the way we refer to the passive voice uh, in Chinese. Now, before we talk about it in Chinese, let's explain what it is in English. So, if I was to say, the police arrested him, uh, that would be considered active, okay? And a lot of newspaper headlines are written that way, they're encouraged writing in that way. Uh, but if I said, he was arrested by the police, that would be considered passive. So it's the object and the subject, the order is switched around. Um, and that's just another way of saying it. But it's used a bit less uh, than, than the active, but it is, is also used. So let's now look at it in Chinese. So um, let's show you how the word bait is used. Let's use that same example of the sentence. So uh, the police arrested him would be Jing Cha Zhua La Ta. Okay, police arrested him. Uh, and if we were to put that into the passive, we would say Ta Bei Jing Cha Zhua La. Okay, so he Bei or by uh, police arrested. Okay, now you could also and this is another feature of using bait, is you could take out the police altogether, take out the people he was arrested by, and you could just say, Ta bei zhua le. And that's something that you could only do by using the bait character, because if you were to say, uh, the police, police arrested him, you couldn't take out police. You need the subject there that's doing something to that object, okay? But when you use bait, you can take out that subject and, and just leave okay and that's that's useful all right and I'll, I'll explain a little bit more about that in the next example so let's take another example sorry this one's kind of negative too um, it, it's all kind of negative examples today but maybe that's just the nature of this this word so um, okay he cheated me that's active and the passive way of saying this would be okay I was cheated by him. Okay, I by him cheated. That's how it is in Chinese. And then we can take out him altogether and just say I was cheated, which was which would be wo bei pian le. Uh, and and that's useful because let's say there may be situations where like you you fell for some telephone scam, let's say, and you accidentally gave over your credit card information, someone stole your money and you don't know who they are. So you couldn't say I was cheated by whoever because you don't know. So you could just say wo bei pian le. I've been cheated. And this bait can also be used in the negative to say that something hasn't happened, all right? I haven't been cheated. So in that case, you would use the word may, which negates yo. So it's may yo, meaning, you know, negative but in the past tense. Something has not happened. Um, and you could say, wo mei bei pian, all right? Or wo mei o bei pian, I haven't been cheated. Um, and so just take note of that when it's in negative, you always put the negative word before bei. Okay, that's, that's the rule with this. Um, so that's kind of a little introduction to the way that the passive sort of voice works in Chinese uh, with the character bei. Um, don't now go off and think, oh, I've learned how to use bei and use it in every sentence. Like, for example, say, oh, this bei is shui, bei wo he le. Mm. You know, just saying is, is fine and it's a lot more normal because bait um, as a character, this is really good, mm. Got chia seeds in there and a uh, slice of lemon. Anyway, um, because bait as a character, uh, it's not used too much in spoken Chinese anyway. It's more of a written, uh, a written thing, you know, in books and newspapers and etc. Uh, rather than a spoken thing. So I would say less than 10% of sentences would have the character bait in them, especially in spoken Chinese. So if you, it's like people who go and try to use loads of chung yus or four character sayings whenever they speak. Uh, it just looks like they're trying to incorporate more advanced vocabulary into their conversation when it really doesn't need to be there. Um, but like I said, it is useful in some cases, especially when you need to say that someone or something has done something to you, but you don't know who they are, so you can't actually say their name, so you could use the word bait. Uh, definitely in that situation. Um, 
Be can also be substituted with the character Ba in many cases, and that's something we'll cover in a later video, so do look out for that. I just want to say a big thank you to the sponsor of this show, italki.com. They make this show possible. Uh, we have got that buy one, get one free deal for their site, so if you're looking for a Chinese teacher or a tutor to help you with your Chinese and help you practice, etc., don't hesitate to check out their site. It's buy one, get one free for new users of the site. So you can go on there. Their teachers are very reasonably priced and they'll teach you from the convenience of your own home uh, over Skype video chat. I really do encourage you guys to check them out. It's a great deal. Also, I appeared on this fake iPhone commercial uh, on uh, another channel that uh, I'm involved with called Generation Tech. Um, we did this funny commercial with a lot of uh, fake features that the iPhone 7 doesn't actually have, but um, do check out that, guys, and if you want to subscribe to that channel, we do a lot of stuff about uh, pop culture, movies, uh, entertainment, that kind of stuff on there, and it's quite cool. So do check it out. We'll put that and the italki link. Everything will be on the end card uh, of this video for you to check out. And we'll see you next week with another Learn Chinese Now video. Zaijian!